Hey guys, thank you for watching Jimra. Make sure you subscribe and hit that little notifications button so you know when a new video comes out. Thanks again, guys. Hi everybody, I am Jilly and welcome to Jimra. Yes, today is a full body body resistance training. That means you don't need any weights, any bands, or even tennis shoes if you don't want to. So with that, let's get warmed up, all right? Fully engage those arms as we start to warm up right here. As we're warming up, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, everything is long and lean, full connection. Let's take it back right here. Feeling every, every corner, every part of the body is full circle, just like that. And here we go, let's take this arm forward. Yes. Doesn't it feel good to work on your body? Yes, it does. A file, full body mind connection. So many people like to watch television when they work out. Mm -mm. Stay connected to that body, you'll get real faster, faster, faster results. Yes, you will. Keep it going. Breathe in. And take those arms straight up and down. And make those legs right together right here and let's get really tall right here. Imagine a string or a cord or a chain pulling you up through that crown chakra. Getting nice and tall, long neck. Shoulders are back and down. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Belly is in tight all the way to the spine. Glutes are engaged. Hamstring and quads are engaged. And let's bring those knees up. So we're lifting up those knees right now, working on the lower abs and the quads. So those lower abs are pulling that leg up. Lower abs and quads. Getting nice and warm. So at the beginning you might think, oh, this is so easy. Body resistance, that's no big deal. But when you do it multiple times and you're completely engaged, whoo, it's a great workout. Here we go, a little twist right here to the midsection. I'm gonna take it to a lunge right here. Bring those toes back together right here, engaging, pulling those inner thighs together. Let's do some standing cat cows. Rounding that back for cat and out for cow. Round and back out. Breathing in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Warming up that spine. And let's go quick feet right here, quick feet. Ah, yes. If you guys are like me, Got a little boxer in you. These are our quick feet. Breathe in and out. Starting to get warm, give me a step. Step, 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 get low. Low, high, low, high. See how my arms are still have energy behind them so they're not just flaring around. Feeling that full connection. Right back to a chair pose right here. Get nice and low in that chair pose. So you're not sitting like this, you're sitting up just like that. And imagine two cords right in front of you. You wanna grab it, pull it down. Grab them, pull it down. With this workout, we're gonna use a lot of our minds to connect. Great imagination skills right here. seconds. That's it. Go up on the toes. Almost there. Got five seconds. Two and one. That's it. Shake it on out. We're going to go right into arms. Take those arms straight out right here. Hands are up. Imagine you're handing, you're holding two huge buckets full of water. Give it about 50 pounds each to begin with. Take it up and down. Feel that isolation of the bicep. Squeeze. Now anything you wanna do with your lower body is fine with me. Just make sure it's engaged. So if you wanna be in chair pose, maybe out to a small squat, you can be walking around, but there's engagement. The belly's still in, those shoulders are back and down. Now let's add another 50 pounds of water. Two. 
Keep it going. Feel those isolations. And three, two, one. We reverse now for tricep. So now you're holding those buckets of water and squeezing at the top. Yes. Escaping from reality for these 45 minutes and working on you. Self-love. Squeeze it. So not flaring around, you squeeze. We got 30 seconds. seconds keeping those elbows up three two one shoulders go back and down elbows go to the body just like that the chest is nice and open squeezing those shoulder blades together grab those buckets of water those imaginary buckets and pull them up so those elbows squeeze it against the body so you see the bicep right there that bicep Isolation is so important because anybody can do this, right? But this is to prove to yourself that you don't need weights and you can do workouts anywhere. Take it up and down. We got 30 seconds right here. And if you don't feel it, just add some more imaginary water. That's it. 10 seconds. And five. Three. And we reverse it now for triceps. Pulling those buckets now, here we are for triceps. Shoulders back and down, chest open. I will always remind you about that. Elbows to the body. And feel that. Squeeze it at the top. Belly is in, those legs are still engaged, the glutes, hamstring, quads. Right now we're focusing on that upper body, we'll go to midsection and to lower body. Here we go, you got 20 seconds. Can you speed it up? Yes, yes, push it, push it, push. Ten seconds. Here we go, five. And roll it back right here, shake it out. We're gonna go on to those shoulders. Nice open right here. And actually, we're gonna squeeze it and do chest instead. Yeah, we'll go to shoulders afterwards. Squeeze that chest and then squeeze the shoulder blades. Remember that lower body still engaged, belly is still in tight. And now we can't hold buckets like this, I get it. So imagine you're wading through water and it's very dense water, you're pushing back, pushing forward, pushing back, pushing forward, that's it. Keep it going, almost there. That's it, 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Holding it right here. Glass ceiling is what I like to call this. Punch that glass ceiling. How many people have told you that you can't? That's that glass ceiling. I want you to punch it, crack it. Tell yourself you can, you can. Yes, hit it, hit it. Really punch it. Just a few more of these, almost there. Keep going, 30 seconds. In three, two, one. Gonna change it up just slightly for you. Bring those hands down right here. Shoulders go back and down. We're gonna work focusing on those shoulders. Take those legs, I like to go a little bit further than hip width apart. 
shoulders back and down again. You're gonna be focusing that shoulder. Grab those buckets of water again. We lift and lower, lift and lower. That's it, looking strong. Now let's take both of those arms up and down. Let's pulse it, a little pulse. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. For three, two, one. Drop those hands, let's go 45. Feeling a little, a little different in the muscle groups. Still working the shoulders. Hitting all those little trigger muscles is what I like to call it. <sighs> heavy, heavy water. I don't know guys, I got about about 110 pounds right in here right now. The belly's still engaged. Lower body is still engaged. In three, two, one. Hold it up and pulse. 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 Get those arms as straight as you can. Straight as you can. Energy shooting out of those knuckles. Here we go. For three. One, take it 90 degrees now. Oh yeah, squeezing those shoulder blades together. That's it, looking strong. Oh. Almost done with these arms, I promise you. Energy again, shooting out of those knuckles. Keep it strong. Hey, give me a pulse, give me a pulse right here. 20 second pulse, you got this. Stay connected. You got five seconds right here for five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out right there. Good job guys, we're going to the floor. All right guys, let's take it down to the floor right here. We're gonna hit a plank position, high plank. Just connecting again to the body because we're coming down midsection. Shoulders back and down. <sighs> Belly goes in. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Engage those glutes. Holding it here for three, two, one. Open up those legs just slightly for shoulder width apart. We're gonna go for a moderated downward dog. You're gonna go up and down, just warming up that midsection. So yes, a lot of people use their arms in plank. You're using that full body, but I want you to focus that the belly's pulling you up and keeping that belly in tight, pulling you back down. Each time getting a little bit further with that calf stretch. And now go ahead and tap that shin. There you go. Again, focusing on that midsection is pulling you back. Engaging that oblique. And now we're gonna do a shoulder tap, tap right here. These are short, don't worry about it. Tap, tap, keep that midsection as still as you can. Keep those hips square. Try not to rock back and forth. Give me 10 seconds right here. Five, three, two, and one. Keep those things back, keep those toes together, open up those knees, take it to child's pose. Stretch out those arms that you worked so hard. And let's pull up. Let's turn around right here. And we're gonna take it to some small crunches. Small crunches. Easy crunches. Feet are flat on the floor. Still engaging the lower body. So what I'd like for you to do is pil tilt your pelvis up and then push your belly to the ground. So many people do it like this and they pop their bellies out. You wanna push down and then lift that chin up to the sky or your ceiling. So your arms are just there for support for the head. I have a heavy head, so <laughs> keep it going. A few more. A 
for three, two, now we tap, engaging those obliques. Little small twist, that's all, they're just tiny little twists. But as you twist again, it's not, uh, uh, it's to the sky, up and over. And then take that right leg and take it to tabletop. Walk that left leg to the center and let's go up and over this way. Reaching, reaching past that knee. And give me double time crunches right here. Crunch, crunch, stay up. Lift those shoulders as high as you can. Of course, that right shoulder will be resting on the ground, but you feel the engagement in it. Left shoulder is really pulling up. For three, two, one. Let's switch those sides right here. Giving you my back. <laughs> And don't be at home sitting there just watching it on the couch. Really try it. And only if you can do a few of them, that's okay. Just make note of it. And the next time you do the video, challenge yourself to do just a little bit more. And that's how you get better and better. And then you don't tap out and be like, I can't do this. Everybody's different. Few more. Now we pulse. Quick breaths. The reason why I do quick breaths is I can push my belly down. For three, two, one. Let's take it back to center, put those legs back out a little bit farther than shoulder width apart. Okay, now we're gonna keep our chest up and keep our shoulders off the ground. All right, so we're gonna take that right leg and we're gonna pull it straight up to the sky and we're gonna lift up. So if you wanna do both hands and lift up, go for it. But if you have neck problems like I do, then you wanna just grab one hand right there and just rest it, that your cranium on it, and just support it. But you're lifting up. You're not lifting forward, you're lifting up. few more three two one hold it up right here and you're gonna hold both hands now behind the head and you're gonna lower and lift feel how different that is now you're engaging that lower body those lower abs before we were really focused on those upper abs so I really want you to focus everything's about focus and connection when I train people I tell them we can do Killer workouts in a short amount of time if you're connected. You get results faster. But if you're daydreaming, you might have to stay working out for a bunch of hours. So it's your choice. And hold it down and pulse. And again, you wanna make sure that your, the back is flat, flat, flat as it can be. So that pelvis is tilted up just slightly. Little shoulders off the ground just slightly. Pulse it, focus. Three, two, one. Hold it out, little circles. Let's go out first. Out, little circles. That's it. And reverse. How are you guys doing? You good? Hold.
hold it up and take it in let's switch sides right here leg goes straight up to the sky reaching up up again reach up push that belly down to the ground lifting those shoulders up it up now we pulse for three two and one holding it up again we lift and lower remember this guy's still engaged he's still pushing down through the feet yeah that foot is nice and flat Lower ab connection, focusing on the lower ab. It's lifting it up and lowering that leg. I like to point my toe just because you wanna feel that energy coming out of your toe. You can make it flat and you can still feel a great connection there, but the toe, it's something that's psychologically to you. When you point the toe, you're thinking long and lean long and lean because I'm short <laughs> for three two one and pulse it right here little pulses three two hold it out right here let's make some little circles let's go out first with those little circles ah do that so I can just see you guys a little bit better. <laughs> That's it, looking good. And let's reverse it. You should be feeling it now. Yes. Can I get a thumbs up? Yes. For three, two, one. Hold it out, hold it out and let's bring it down shake those legs out good job oh yes we're gonna be taking it up to bridge going into the lower body now all right guys let's take it to bridge right here bring those feet as close as you can to the bum and let's rise up walk those shoulder blades together now a lot of times people do this right you want to walk those shoulder blades together and then engage those hands down to the ground so push those palms to the ground all right we're gonna lower and lift and when you lift i want you to squeeze the glutes everything has a breath attached to it breathe in Again, everything feels easy when you first start it, right? And then after a bunch, you're like, oh my goodness. That's what body resistance training is. It's staying connected and doing multiple, multiple times of the same movement. And you get incredible results and really toned body. Give me three more. Three, two, one. Let's hold it up, hold it up and pulse and pulse. A lot of times people use their legs to pulse. I want you to imagine squeezing the glutes. Squeeze those little glute cheeks together. Squeeze. For three, two, and one. Now walk those feet towards the bum as close as you can by still raising up. I want you to hold up and then get a little closer to the bum. Now what we're gonna do is go up on the tippy toes right here. So pull up even more, walk those shoulder blades again together, press those arms down to the ground, and we lower and lift.
as your mind starts to wander, come right back to yourself. Come back to the muscle group that you're working. Give me 10 more, here we go, 10. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, those little pulses again. Ooh, I know you're feeling it. I know you're feeling it. Change is happening. Keep it going. Squeeze. For three, two, one. We are not done with bridge. Keep it up right here. Keep it up. If you need to, drop it down. Hug it in. I understand. Open up those cheeks a little bit. <sighs> Pull up. Breathe in. Breathe out. And take it back up to that bridge. Join me here. You guys ready? All right. Now walk those feet out just slightly. Just slightly. And we're going to go up now on the heels. So bring those toes up to the sky. Those arms are still engaged down to the ground. And we lift and lower. Don't forget about that belly. You gotta pull that belly in. Give me a few more right here. Give me three. Two and one, hold it up. You know what to do. That's it, pulse, 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 pulse. Almost done, I promise. For three, two, one, drop it down. Oh, ho, ho. bring those knees up, give it a hug. Bonus. I know we said we're done with bridge. So we're gonna do a little bit of a moderated bridge. Uh, you always wanna have a bonus. All right, take those feet back down. We're gonna lift up this time. Walk the left leg towards the midsection. So that right leg is just hanging out right there. Walk the shoulder blades together, put those palms down, and we're gonna bring that leg straight out. Remember to point that toe and right to about the knee. You don't wanna go any higher. Stay right here. It's all just about control. There's so many things in life right now that we have no control over. So let's just be in control of our bodies. Doing this for a few seconds only. Three, two, one. Hold it up. We pulse. Pulse. Three, two, one. Told you it wasn't that bad. Here we go. Walk that right leg to the midsection. Left leg goes out. We lift and lower. Ooh, that glute's feeling it. Yeah. So what happens when you feel any kind of, oh, discomfort? Oh, get comfortable being uncomfortable. That's where change happens. Three, two, one, and we pulse right there. Pulse. Three, two, and drop it down. That's great. Bring those knees back up to the chest. Let that back sink into the ground. Breathing in, breathe out. Then lift that nose right up to those knees. And let those legs go. Turn around. And guess what? We're ready for lower body. Let's all get up. Let's do it. All right, let's do that lower body right here. Just some nice, easy, simple squats in a chair pose. Let's just go nice and low and squeeze those glutes on the way up. So again, you can do whatever you want with your arms. You can go, hey, you can go what? You can go out, but just keep them engaged. Squeeze and down. Three, 
three, two, one. Hold it down and then just open up those legs right here. If you have bad knees like me, I have no meniscus in my right knee from Taekwondo, just bring those feet out slightly to a 45 degree angle. That way you can get a little lower. Now if you have great knees, go for it. Bring those legs closer together and give me a nice squat right here. So as you go down, make sure that bum goes out and you squeeze on the way up. All right. So no chest leaning forward. A lot of people like to go forward like this. No, you want to go down, keep that chest up. Looking strong. Give me a few more. Three, two, one. Bring those legs together. Now we're gonna go out squat, chair squat, back out wide squat. All the way down, squeeze on the way up. All the way down, squeeze on the way up. So if you have any injury like I do, and you're afraid of squats, don't be. Just sit back, make sure that knee is over, not over the ankle. Let's pick up the pace now. Boom, 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 pulse it. Woo! Yes, feel it. For three, two, and one. Hold it out, let's hold it out. Stay right here. Sit low with it. Sometimes I like to go fast and then you slow it down. You get connected again. Remember that string we talked about? Pull up, shoulders back and down. And three, two, get a little lower. And one, shake it out right here. Going into chair pose, Shoulders back and down, chest open, belly in. Now we're gonna take this foot, the right foot, or you can mirror me, bring it up on the heel so that toe is facing up to the sky. All right, we're gonna grab those buckets of water that we did at the beginning, and we're gonna lower and lift. Lower and lift. If you guys can see, to make sure your torso is nice and long, okay? Sitting back. You want to sit back into it, but your focus is on the hip flexors. The hip flexors are pulling you back and pulling you up, but those arms are engaged. Everything is engaged. Belly in tight. Whew. Feeling it? Your hands can be open too, just as long as they're engaged. Five more seconds like this. Two, one, hold it down, now we pulse it. So the belly still stays in tight, the shoulders are still back and down, long necks. Feeling it, oh, so much in those glutes, yes. Almost there. Woo, 10 more seconds. For three, two, one, take it up and down. Let's go up and down quick. Five seconds, five, two, and one. Shake that leg out, good job. Do the other side. How do we do that? Start in that chair pose again. Shoulders back, you know the drill. Belly goes in. Take that left leg or mirror me. Right forward, heel, toe up. Grab your buckets of water, engage, and let's go.
Remember those hip flexors. Boom, boom, boom. That's what you want. We got 15 seconds. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Three, two, one. We pulse. Long backs, belly in, long necks. You can do it, you can do it, stay with it. I know it, and if it's burning, that's a great sign. Yes, keep going, keep going. Five more seconds. Up and down, let's go. Twenty seconds. seconds three two and one shake those legs out give me a nice wide squat again bad knees get those toes out to a 45 degree and get nice and low and hold it right here breathe take it up and down Sit back in that chair. Make sure your chest isn't going forward. You want to keep it up. It's getting nice and warm right here. Get comfortable with this position. We're going to be in it for a while. We're going to be rotating those toe movements up on each toe, burning out those quads. You got 10 seconds. And we hold it right here. Now take that right toe, go up on the right toe. If you're mirroring me, just mirror my leg right here. Hold it out. Again, I put my hands here, you can put them here, put them wherever, but keep them engaged. Always those shoulders are back and down. Hold it. Now we go up and down, up, down. Stay high on that toe. For three, two, one, hold it down, hold it down. Keep that toe nice and high. Now we pulse, breathe. At any time you need a water break, you go for it, but you come right back, come right back. For three, two, and one, switch those feet right away, hold it. Get comfortable with it. Now lift and lower, we go lower. I hope you are guys are feeling it at home. I am feeling it. I know my clients feel it. And if you're saying, I don't feel it, squeeze a little harder. You can do it. Use that body resistance. Here we go. And hold it down, let's pulse. One more right after this, and then we stretch it out, we cool it down. For five, three, two, one. Now both toes are going to go up. Hold it, get low, hold it. We lift and lower, lift and lower. Control it. 
Remember that string at the top of the head that's pulling you up or that cord? It's kind of hard on this floor, but you know what I'm saying. If you're at home and have a nice flat floor, you can do it. Keep it going for three, two, one. Hold it up. Keep those toes up. Keep those toes up. In this moment, I want you to tell yourself how awesome you are. Yes, you are. We got 20 seconds right here. Ooh, those legs, if they're starting to shake, it's a good thing. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Hopefully I spread a little bit of joy in your homes. Keep it going for five, four, three, two. Heels go down, walk those legs in, shake it out. That's right, give me some twists right here. Breathing in, breathing out. Oh, feel how different you feel than when you first turned this on? Yes. <sighs> Whew. Always feels good to work out on you, right? So we not only worked out the body, we worked out the mind. Here we go, let's reach. Reach, reach. Yes. Give me those arm circles again, take them forward. And take them back. Across the body. Remember those twists we did with that lunge? Let's twist and lunge it. Ooh, feels so good. Two. One, walk those feet together. Take that right leg or mirror me over the other leg and just drop down, let that body hang. If you're super flexible, grab those legs, pull yourself in. I am not, this is about as far as I can go. So I just let it hang, I still feel beautiful stretch. And then walk over to one side and then walk over to the other. Feel that little difference. And then shake those legs out. Let's do the other side. Cross the other leg over and drop down. Let the head just hang that neck nice and long. Walk those hands over to one side. And walk it on over to the other. And back to the center right here. Shake those legs out. You guys were amazing today. Stay strong, stay healthy. Remember what you put on your mouth shows up on your body. Here we go, huge inhale and let it go. Give me two more, huge inhale, let it go. One more and let it all go. Make room for greatness, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm Jilly.